Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick review here of the Ultimate Direction Clutch Water Bottle. Now before I do that, I'm just going to talk you through quickly um, the different water bottles that I've had leading up to this point. So I was running, I did my first marathon with this bottle here, this Nathan uh, bottle, which was great. 500ml bottle, loads of space in the front, you can fit three gels or so in there, and which was really cool. But this is a kind of a, a bit of a soft formed rubberized plasticky type bottle so obviously once you finish with the liquid you have to continue to hold this and it's a little bit clunky a bit clumsy but still a good water bottle i then moved to this water bottle here which i believe is this speed drawer this is fantastic you can get your hand in there tighten as you need to again fits three gels or so nice bottle much better the way that it sits um around your hand much more comfortable than this version here however i found that with this hard top here if you're running and you just throw it into your mouth quickly you can actually smash yourself in the teeth which is not not the most pleasant experience so i did really like the water bottle and i continue to use it if i'm going out i might just grab this one on the go however i've now moved to the ultimate direction clutch bottle here which i'm going to just show you two versions of the only difference is the colouring, as you can see here. Uh, and let me talk you through the features of this particular water bottle. So first and foremost, we have got a pocket in the front, which is very breathable. It does have as well a kind of a fastening type arrangement in there. It fits two gels comfortably, three gels at a push, but you are using the zip kind of on the very edge and, and I would be a little bit nervous about continuing to, to push the bottle in that way. But nevertheless, it has got some storage space in the front. It's incredibly lightweight, really, really comfortable. You've got a strap here, a Velcro strap, which can be uh, moved to fit your hand, depending on how large your hand is, how you want to hold it. You can hold it in this way here. You can loosen it off. You can put your thumb in this part here and then re-tighten if you wish. You basically get yourself situated in the way that feels comfortable to you and then change the strap accordingly. And it's quite simple to do on the run as well. The bottle itself is a soft flask bottle. So I'll just show you this kind of in reverse of what would happen. Once you've finished uh, drinking the liquid that you've put into this bottle here, this can be squashed to this size here, and that can then be stowed away and stored. So if you happen to be using a vest, for example, or in fact, even my running shorts, I can fit this into there quite comfortably. You could even unscrew the lid and keep that separate and keep it even more compact if you wanted to. On the top, you've got two bungee uh, cords here, which help to keep the bottle in place to reduce any option uh, of bounce or um, movement. So in order to refill, you can obviously refill in this situation here. You can keep it in situ and then you just fill up as you would do normally with a water bottle. A pretty good size opening here can be a little bit difficult at times to fill on the go, but no different to any other water bottle that you might have. So you fill up here. Keep this in place at the top. Oh. One over there, one over there, and the way you go. Now, I've just did a recent marathon. In a recent marathon, I used these two bottles here. One had water in it, one had tailwind in it. And then when I needed to refill, I turned to the aid station, unscrewed, jug straight in, and away we went. It was actually really, really comfortable because once I'd finished with um, the amount of liquid that I had filled the bottle up with, Small, stayed away, job done. I'd love to show you a picture, but unfortunately there were no pictures taken of me at the marathon. Despite there being 1600 photos, not one of me featuring these two bottles, which I thought would have been quite a, quite a cool thing just, just, just to have shown you uh, what it looks like. Because I don't think it's um, too awkward actually to, to carry two bottles. I was the only person doing it. A lot of people use vests, but for me, I just find it a little bit more fluid. I find it more simple. A little bit more free to be able to have two bottles here. I'm not doing anything particularly off road. There's not much danger of me falling over onto my hands. I can understand why people might use a vest if they're doing some trail runs. But for me, one handheld if you just do a, a shorter run, two handhelds if it's slightly longer. These have worked really, really well for me up to up to obviously marathon distance in my 20 mile long runs. They've been perfect. So a really, really good option. They do have a run quite expensive. I've seen these available for up to 40 pounds a piece. 
I didn't pay that amount for this. As you know, if you watch my channel regularly, I like to find a bargain. So I waited a little while till they came up for sale. Once I had one, I knew that I wanted the other and I paid about five pound more for this one just to make sure that I had two. But they're an awesome bottle, highly recommended. And if you get the opportunity to purchase or try, I would absolutely recommend them.